Hey everyone from Davos. What a pleasure to be here with you, Daniel. Joined today by my friend Gary Steele, CEO of Splunk. How's it going here in Davos? It's been great. It's been great. A little cold. Meta yeah. last year was huge. And yeah. this year, if you go across the street here, it's all about AI, Gen AI. Is it just a hype cycle? What's going on here? Well, how much are you hearing? Maybe you're hearing more than I am. But... <laughs> it all depends on what kind of bubble you are, right? I'm in the AI uh, bubble. It exactly. Appears. No, but I think every year there is a hype for something else. With $4 trillion of global productivity expected by 2030, that's a lot of GDP and productivity that people want. I think Davos is very much about what does this technology mean? How afraid do we need to be? This is this idea that the smart refrigerator is going to take over your house, or Hal is going to take over your spaceship, or your... We should assume it's here to stay, and we should find the best way by which we could guard the situation. The great thing is there's benefits of AI in that environment. Machine learning has been used for a long time to really understand the trends, be able to identify anomalies, and then drive a set of automated responses. And AI will just contribute and make that better and more efficient. I wholeheartedly believe that our relationship with technology is about to change significantly. And what we see coming to market now, and then what we see coming to market in 2025 when all this comes together, it's like, oh my goodness, I've always loved this industry, but now to be a part of changing the most profound moment in my however many years I've been doing this. One thing I've learned at Davos is there's sort of from an enterprise adoption perspective, there's kind of 80% of enterprises that are still trying to figure it out and are not quite sure and how to implement tools or where to implement tools. And then there's a 20% who are like, they've grabbed on the AI train and they're, and they're, and they're, and they're going and, and we fall into that 20%. I think you and I remember when generative AI first hit, there was a lot of sort of question marks around, well, what does this mean for people? What is this going to displace, replace, augment, upskill? I think at the end of it, just like the others, we're going to end up requiring more people, not less. Why? Simple economics. If something is more productive, by definition, you're lowering the cost. If you're lowering the cost, you can gain market share. If you gain market share, you're going to actually be able to provide more of that to everybody, which means, contrary to where you began, you actually need more people to provide that more, be it a service or be it a product. The beauty of being here in Davos is there's kind of this energy when you're walking up the promenade and when you're near the forum, but there's also this tranquility. Let's get a couple of hot teas. I don't think they charge for it. No, of course not. It's... The smile is enough to Oh, here we go. Takes him a long time. <laughs> I had to warm up my face. Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> Davos is a milestone because you have the typical routine that you go through throughout the year, and then you have this pinnacle moments like Davos, one of them. As a company that's doubled and then doubled and then doubled and then doubled, you do, it's a snowball. And, uh, you know, what's a better place to talk about snowballs than, than in Davos? They're everywhere. I'm pretty sure I'm a foot taller than I should be because I'm standing on a pile of snow. Being here helping to take shape and make an impact and say something that matters, that's what this business is all about. In a world where creating content, you know, chat GPT and every other tool on the planet is making it easier, it matters less about what's being said and I think it's going to matter more who's saying it. And so this is one of the places where the who come and it's the right place to say it. To end in a way, you know, you did mention snowballs, so it's only symbolic. <laughs> All right, you're going to yeah. enjoy those snacks? Not Maybe now. Maybe while we're on camera? Put <laughs> <laughs> uh, in your pocket, you look ridiculous. <laughs> you got to get all this for the outtakes, guys. Yes, all right. This is, uh, you got to have a little fun with this, too. It can't all right, be all so. serious. Yeah, you okay. got the award, Best Nightcap, in... Yeah, we got, uh, rid we got wrote up. In Davos uh, last for, night? For last night, yeah. We had, a, we had a really amazing nightcap. You know, it's after a long day of meetings with, with some of the world's most, you know, influential people. It's nice to kind of just relax and have a cocktail. Yeah. How's your Davos been so far? Oh, Davos has been great. <laughs> what I'm most proud of is managed to build in a little bit of pauses to go in and listen to sessions that typically don't spend time on, so that's also been very valuable. You see the street, it gets busy about 2 p.m. That's the busiest <laughs> point. You know why? It's because everybody's at Barry's Bar. 
<laughs> Till late in the morning. Thank you so much for spending some time. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, Dan. For now, I know you got a busy day. There's lots of lines to wait in here. Lots of walking to be done, and I appreciate you stepping out, taking some time, Gary. No, it's great. It's good seeing you. Thanks for joining me. All right, take care. By the way, this is the guy that told me to bring the boots, and I, I'll tell you, foot fashion is not for Davos. You need snow fashion. That is it. Safety. It was worth it. Great door, CTO, checkpoint. 28 years. What a run. Can't wait to see what you do next. Matt Zalitsky, President of International Markets, Lenovo. Brian, local Austinite. Yep. Thanks for sitting down with me here in Davos. Uh, I have your dinner. It's just a great place, and I, I gotta say, I, I've never seen an opportunity to have so much density of high impact meetings in yes. such a short yes. period of time. I'm definitely coming back, and I hope you will come back and chat to me again sometime soon. And thanks for joining me on a view from Davos. Looking forward to that. Thank you. Uh, thanks, great seeing so. Arvind Krishna, Chairman and CEO of IBM, thanks for joining me for a view from Davos. Great being here with you, Daniel.